The year is 1952. There's a young man named Carl Eller went to work for an outdoor advertising company, a billboard company, a bus sign company. Ten years later, through his compound life experience, he kept learning and reiterating, getting better. After six more years, he merged that company with a radio TV company. Then he built that company for another 10 years. So he's been at this learning and building for over 17 years. And after many wins and losses, he sold his company to Gannett, the company that owned USA Today at the time. Most people would call that a career pinnacle win. 1980 to 1983, Carl ran Columbia Pictures, the movie company, and eventually helped them merge with Coca-Cola. After working for 30 years, his net worth at that time was $500 million. $500 million net worth in 1983. Imagine what that would be worth today. This guy was a doer. He wanted to build things. So he was now 55, and he was looking for something to do because he was bored. He and his partners took over Circle K, the convenience stores, and built Circle K to be the second largest convenience store chain in the world behind 7-Eleven. 4,500 stores in the U.S., 1,500 stores overseas, and over 100 countries. Amazing growth record. Circle K went from $700 million in gross sales to over $3.5 billion in gross sales in just six years. Most people would call that a career crowning victory, but it was the early 1990s. In just a couple of years, Circle K had a downturn and Carl lost every dollar he'd ever accumulated. He had put all of his money into Circle K. And not only had he lost half a billion of his own money, but at the age of 62, he was also $100 million in debt. Think about how that must have felt. He went from being the half a billion dollar guy to I lost the half a billion dollars and I'm a hundred million in the hole. That situation makes whatever financial problems you or I think we may have look like a rounding error and less like a problem. Carl went from total success to what most people would call total failure. Now, that's not the end of the story. This is where psychology, the management of your thoughts and emotions, comes into play. Carl did not say, I'm ruined. He did not say, I'm done, I'm finished. He didn't even say, I'm starting over. But instead, he said, I'm going back to what I know. There's still time. He didn't say, I lost 37 years. He lost his money. But he did not lose his 37 years of experience that had helped him create that money. So what did he do? Carl did something most people would never be courageous enough to do. He went back to Phoenix, Arizona and bought a small outdoor advertising company and started building. He built his new outdoor advertising company to over 25 cities in less than five years. And five years later, he sold it to Clear Channel Communications for over a billion dollars. Carl went from $100 million in debt at the age of 62 to billionaire at the age of 67. It's never too bad. It's never too terrible. You're never ruined. You're never done until you quit, until you give up. There's time. Stay strong. Keep going. There's still time. If you're still here, God's not done with you. Till the next time, my prayer for you is that God will do more for you than you can possibly ask or even imagine. Peace to you and peace to your house. See you next time.